Assalamualaikum. I'm Puan Farahida Mahmud Farid. I'm from Makna. Makna is the recipient of the Merdeka Award 2020 under Education and Community. First, we didn't expect it. Uh, it was a huge surprise. But it was very humbling as well to be recognized as we've been working for 25 years. And this is our 25th anniversary. And to receive that, I mean, it's just like a, an icing on the cake. So it was really, really humbling. So, well, thank you for asking. Um, we've been in existence since uh, uh, 1995, so it's, it was it was a long, arduous journey. <laughs> But it started when my brother had cancer. So this was way back in 1991. He had leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia, at a very young age of 16. So he was born four at the time. And in our country, in 1991, you didn't have the kind of service that you have now. So when my father was in the Ministry of Health, he had access to the best specialist doctors, hospitals in the world. So that allowed my brother to have access to those kind of resources. So when he was given the treatment in London, and it's like, look, Who else can afford to have this kind of opportunity? So as a family, we decided that when we come home, when Faro was better, that we're going to set up a not-for-profit organization to help Malaysians, uh, to bring new technologies, you know, to, to have, uh, to give people the opportunity, especially for those people who can't afford the treatment here in Malaysia. We have a 40-foot trailer that goes around giving free mammograms to women above 50 who's uh, in the lower um, income group. And they're usually in the rural areas. So we know the problem is late stage. They come in third or fourth stage. But if detected early, the chances of a cure is more than 70%. So we built this trailer, you know, we designed it, you know, we got it commissioned, everything. It's going around the whole country, it's going from town, rural areas, so that women don't have to come to the city to get their breast screened, but we go to that. And I think that that has changed the way, you know, trying to make people not be scared of having to have their mammograms, you know, and not have that waiting time, we reduce the waiting time. So, so far, yes, that's one of the biggest trends that we have. There are different stages when you have cancer. So in the past, when the technology was not so readily available, maybe you would have difficulty in, in getting information. But now, uh, in 2020, with so many resources available to you, the supportive care, you know, tied to the hospital, Uh, there's so many volunteers that could provide you with emotional support. So if you have cancer, you would have you would have more choices than before. So there is hope, um, and I and I, I really believe that.